speaking with somebody that's lost someone recently on today's Think Share. Welcome to the Think Share. My name is Zach. I'm here to bring to what I've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to it. Doesn't belong in math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. Recently, one of my friends lost somebody close to them, and I had this moment where I, I was going to write something for them, and I just had a really hard time. You know, I comment to the people around me like, "Hey, what did you guys write?" Like, I I feel like I have such a hard time knowing what to write here because no one really knows how to deal with loss. There's no textbook for it, and there's no right way to do it. One of the people said, think about what you would want them to say to you if you were to lose the type of person in your life that they lost. After thinking about that, it brought me back to when I was in sixth grade and I lost my grandfather. And the best parts of all the things that happened after he died were all the stories I got to hear about him and how he'd impacted people's lives. I had no idea he had such an impact on all these people. But when they came to the wake and when they came to the funeral, we got to hear all these wonderful stories of how he had made all these people's lives better. And I think what's really comforting about moments like that is you realize that this person gets to continue living on sort of, as they say, in spirit. I don't quite know how, how the afterworld works or what I believe in, but I know I want to leave behind a legacy that once I'm gone, people are still thinking or talking about some of the impacts that I've had on their life. I know that I want to leave this planet a better place than I left it. And I think everyone on some level wants to feel that way as well. And when they've lost someone and, they're sorrow, and they have sorrows and condolences for their loss, we can think about how they continue to live on and what their legacy is. One of the things I said to one of my friends after he lost his grandmother, and I was pretty good friends with him, so I knew I could ask a, maybe a little bit different question than most other people that I'm not as comfortable with is, I asked him, what is the... What, what's something that you've learned from her that will live on inside of you now that she's gone? And he said, you know, I, I think my ability to judge someone's character and able to look for the right signs and, and have good friends and good relationships, I think that's something that I learned from her that's gonna live on. And about a month later after that happened and he was still in mourning, he said, you know, thank you so much for asking me that question. I think it really opened my eyes and it was a sort of a breath of fresh air from everyone saying I'm sorry for your loss. If you are comfortable enough with another person as they're mourning, consider what you can do to help them. And, and this is just an idea, it's not, not the right answer, it's just something I've had some, some good results with, some good feedback from, is consider what you can say about the person that was lost and how that impacted you and how that person's life can continue sort of living on. And that could be sharing a story, how they've touched your life. It could be sharing a story of how they inspire you or sharing a story about how you know that that person inspired the person and the friend that you have. I hope this helps for anyone that's lost someone out there or someone that has, has a friend that's lost somebody and you don't know how, how to deal with it or how to talk to them. If you enjoyed this and you want more, I invite you to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want notifications every day I come out with something new. Thank you for watching. Stay weird.